Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of recreating this. And I'm going to probably take another video to embellish this if, if he's going to embellish it like this. But we've taken it this far, and, you know, there's a few other things he could do. Uh, you know, take the shape tool and get you some rounder, more corners on type stuff like this you know, and make this look a little better. But now we need to add the scissors. So I've got the original picture and the scissors are kind of just at an angle into the platform and that's pretty good. Uh, this is still pretty small, but let's make it a little smaller. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing we did on the other thing. Items like this trace really well. Uh, I'll be really surprised if it doesn't trace. And uh, if you use, you know, if you just search clip art uh, scissors, clip art, sewing machine, all this stuff comes up. Let's draw a rectangle around it to make sure we get rid of the white. Go to object, order, back a page, and you can see that it's got white. So all we need to do is just select it, ungroup it, go to object, group, and ungroup, and then take the white out. It doesn't really matter on that center deal because we're going to get rid of it anyway. We just want, we want the hole, but we need to get rid of this. So we're going to take, we can get rid of the yellow now, and we're going to zoom in on this part right here, and we're going to change that and make it all one piece. So I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to left-click, no fill, right-click, outline, and you see what we have. And then all I have to do is manip manipulate some nodes, but first we're going to turn it all into a hairline. It's a lot easier to work with, and that's what it needs to be anyway. Then just take your shape tool and we're just going to move this down here, move this down here, try to keep it, you know, straight. But then when we take a virtual segment delete key, that becomes one piece. Now, same thing with the bottom part. You could actually select all these nodes and move them up at one time. And then just take the virtual segment delete key and delete through there. I would, uh, redraw this circle if it was me, you know, just to make it a perfect circle or leave the circle out of just holding down the control button. Let's make it a hairline and make it in red and then just replace it. Take, whoop. I'm going to have to go and break curve apart to get that circle out of there. And you saw the broken lines and what that is, it's uh, different sections. So now let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in. There we go. And then just move that out of the way and left click, right click, and make sure it's a hairline. So now we're ready to go. You know, you could still clean this up a little bit by taking maybe that node out. Nah, I'd leave that node. But anyway, and then just take your scissors over to your sewing machine and Make them quite a bit bigger. And then just kind of rotate it. It's a pretty cool idea with sewing and scissors. And and then just, they've got it kind of got it, you know, down in there. You could make it a little bit bigger. But you don't, you want this part of the sewing machine, I would think, to show, you know, that part right there. So you could actually make your scissors a little bit bigger and make it stretch maybe twist them a little bit more so they're all in there. That looks pretty good. And then just do the exact same thing with this uh, virtual segment delete key, just delete these lines. Nope, I delete, well, that's right. Let me zoom in here. Actually need to back up and keep that line maybe and take this line away because we want a continuous flow. Now take your smart fill tool, fill the whole thing in. I'm gonna change my color to, I was playing with it earlier. Now there's your object. That's gonna cut already pretty good, even with, um, you know, some other, you know, things to think about in plasma cutting. You know, this might burn away, so you might wanna make that a little bit bigger. You could round them off for safety wise. Uh, so nobody's going to, because it is a piece of metal, and it also would uh, 
be a little bit better for the plasma cutter. You could probably delete these two lines. See, that didn't do a thing. Delete that line, didn't do a thing. Delete that line, didn't do a thing. The less node you have in plasma cutting, and even in laser engraving, is so important. And then you would just look at things like this part of the handle. I would actually take the shape tool and maybe delete that node. Delete that node and see what happens. You know, there's some nodes you can't delete. Like you wouldn't want to delete that one, but you could possibly delete that one. You know, inside this circle, maybe delete these two and see what happens. Eh, too much. Maybe delete one. Delete the opposite one. So now you just have a couple of less nodes. Even that worked. Let's see if this works. Nope, doesn't work. But then I would just go back and round some corners off of the sewing machine. And at this time, you could, you could add, you know, parts, uh, you know, more like the uh, original drawing. Turn that into a curve, and then you could change it like that. I would actually come in here and sweep it the other way. And then you could always grab those two and align the nodes horizontally, and then put them at the same height. And then just personal preference, whether you'd have it, and you need to right-click, turn that one into a curve so you get handles on both sides. Maybe grab it from the middle. Looks much better. And, you know, I would do the same thing to all the square edges. Like, we could get rid of those two nodes. Whenever you have a, a straight line, you can pretty much get rid of all the nodes. I think that's done with the exception of this. And this, you know, in plasma cutting, this isn't going to work because these, these words are going to cut out. You know, when you, I don't know if they've got a little bit of a, I don't think so, a little bit of a uh, stencil effect to them. The, you know, the S is the W, the, the I, the N, but the G's and stuff and the D's aren't just going to work because the pieces are going to fall out. So he needs to figure out how to do something like that. But the other part, you know, and I'll try to get to that this afternoon, uh, some embellishment. And also he's got more, you know, little frilly deals. You know, the, the bobber looks a little different. You could, we could work on the bobber. And uh, we'll, I'm going to do that after lunch. I've got to head to town. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. One more node right there to delete. Maybe give it a little bit of a curve. And you're well on your way for plasma cutting. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for working. Walk. Thank you for looking.